Libra, hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina, your host, and I'm doing your weekly tarot. Now these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone, um, but I will take a look at the recent past, the current situation, as well as the very near future, what's coming towards you. All right, Libra, um, I did pre-shuffle. Let me just shuffle a little bit here with you and we're gonna jump right into your reading. All right, hope you guys are doing really great. All right, I'm gonna stop it here. Two of Pentacles is at the bottom. Nine of Pentacles. Money's feeling good, feeling independent, feeling strong. Woo, getting your power back, Libra. Oh my God, such a beautiful spread right now. Such a beautiful spread. Wow. Um, also, I love not one major arcana so far, so that feels like easy. Feels very easy. Um, Nine of Pentacles is here. You're feeling, I feel like you're feeling good. Feeling like great, comfortable in your skin, feeling confident. Um, money looks good, um, but there is a very independent energy. Um, it's not about being single. Uh, maybe it is for some of you, but this, it just, it feel good in your skin, right? You're confident. I feel like you're working hard. Um, I feel like you're just deserving of what's feeling really good. Like you earned it. You worked for it with that nine of pentacles. Um, feels really good. That being said, it, there's only more to say that current situation, you get the ace of swords, two of wands. Ah, ace of wands. That's beautiful. Look at that. That's nice. This is feeling really good. Um, it just feels like you have options and you know it. You're thinking very clearly with that Ace of Swords. Solutions are coming through. Power in the sense of like feeling empowered, feeling motivated. Um, you know, you got that Two of Wands. Maybe, maybe you are thinking about changing direction. Maybe you're thinking about traveling, Libra. Thinking about where you can go. Thinking about stepping out of your comfort zone. I just feel like more than anything what it feels like for me it just feels like you feel like you've got the world in your hands, right? And that's that's just feeling, you just, you feel really good. You've got two aces here, so it definitely indicates um, opportunities for new beginnings, um, a chance to really start new, whether it comes to the way we communicate, whether it comes to your willpower and the fire within. You know, that two of wands cause shows that you, you did get it, you know, especially like a project here with the ace of wands and you're starting to make plans now. But I just feel like you feel really good really empowered really like it's like you're just like you feel like you're at the right place you're doing what you should be doing it's just like like you, you're trusting the process you're trusting where you're at and i just feel like you're almost like it feels like we're going to go in and clarify by like dancing with life a little bit in the near future you also have the four of wands like such beautiful like for a lot of people is a reason to celebrate can be a party here get the queen of cups oh my god such emotional maturity emotional depth, so much intuition, unconditional love, and then you get the Ten of Cups, right? Ten of Cups and Four of Wands. I feel like home, family, life, relationships are feeling really good in the near future. Queen of Cups can be a water sign here, but this is a really feel-good person in your life, person who really leads with their heart, you know, even you yourself. Um, even when it comes to going in a new direction, you know, the Queen of Cups is under the Two of Wands, and so you're just, you know, you're listening to your intuition. You're listening to the voice within, following your heart, leading with your heart. There's so much love here, so much feel good, positive energy, right? Like, it's so good. What can I say here, Libra? It's like you're coming from, first of all, really good energy, and it just like thrusted you into even more beautiful energy. And it's just like, it's almost just rolling in that direction, right? Um, it's like, when it rains, it pours, but when the sun comes out, man, does it shine. Um, all right, let me go in and clarify all of these energies. Yeah, two of cups is at the bottom. 10 of cups, two of cups, like something feels really good. Um, it just feels good. It feels right. Um, all right, clarify for Libra, July 26th to August 1st for Libra. All right, Libra, let's see. I'm gonna stop it here for you. Hangman is at the bottom. Oh, 
ace of cups three aces on your spread now this is really a time where you can really embrace new beginnings i feel like you can really start manifesting i feel like power is on your side um well, yeah but you are looking at changes oh very interesting Ooh, do the cards unfold um i saw a quote and i don't know who said it but um i love it and i'm pretty sure i'm posted but um to the community here on facebook but it was um the tarot speaks the truth we dare not tell ourselves and this is very true we'll be like shuffle it again but like please <laughs> same cards will come out all right near recent past ace of cups clarifying the nine of pentacles i mean you're feeling yourself what, what can i say you're feeling yourself this is you know ace of cups is a new way to open your heart you've got the ace of cups the ace of swords the ace of wands you've got the fool and you've got death here there are others so we are totally but you're feeling good whatever changes are here i feel like you're you're really embarking on new beginnings and for some of you that can definitely involve walking away from certain situations to make space for these new beginnings that's without a doubt um but you're feeling you're coming from a place that feels so good your cup is pouring over the love the creativity the emotions are flowing through you and you're feeling vibrant you're feeling confident you're feeling good in your skin beautiful energy with where you're coming from current situation you could see movement there's energetic shifts happening but moving into such beautiful energy your clarifying cards are the six of swords the fool only card numbered zero here and then you've got death here right um now we got some major arcanas you can be dealing with an aquarius you could be dealing with a scorpio here um those are the two major arcana actually and what do you have the card of total new beginnings and then the card of endings right i mean wow clarifying the ace of swords is the six of swords um that's you thinking pretty clearly that it's time to keep it moving it's time to move in a healthier direction whatever that means for you you're thinking very clearly you definitely have power of the mind here and you're certainly at this place where you're embracing new beginnings because clarifying the two of wands is the fool this is you like you're curious you want to explore it's like you want to see things you want to do things you've got this hunger about you and with the fool it's like i feel like you're in quiet preparation it's not like you're making secret plans or anything but it's just that you are just with yourself first right like everything starts inside of our mind's eye and so this is you quietly preparing to explore ready to embark on a new journey really thinking about your options and where do you go some of you might have a clear idea others of you are still entertaining them just at the i mean when i tell you beginning stages this is embryonic energy right this is not even a baby yet this is embryonic energy right you are just a single celled organism just split in apart and life shall emerge soon enough um clarifying <laughs> the ace of wands is death so i mean what can we say this is i feel like you're really embracing a rebirth um this does not feel uncomfortable death is usually a pretty uncomfortable energy it may have been uncomfortable in the past but not this week please i feel like it, it almost excites you yeah, it, it feels like it almost excites you. Um, but let's not forget, death is about shedding old skin, right? Skin that's no longer in alignment with us. It worked for us for some time. Certain attributes, certain ways of doing things, certain ways of existing and being. But the stage has passed, right? You've graduated. Time to upgrade. And I feel like you totally embrace it. However, in the near future, it doesn't feel as easy breezy, right? Um, you know there's excitement but then then we question ourselves right and then the ego steps in and so it's, that's what i'm feeling for the near future your clarifying cards seven of pentacles two of swords eight of cups right so you know the seven of pentacles is clarifying the four of wands um and that's under the six of swords ace of swords so i wanted to say party and celebration before but nope on Libra with that seven of pentacles there we go with that seven of pentacles um it just feels like you know we're leaving something behind here it was like you were supposed to reach a certain milestone and maybe you didn't and that could be what the issue is for some of you and you're just like wondering is it worth still pouring your energy into um 
that's the seven of pentacles you're like you're ready to pivot you're ready to shift it if need be with the seven of pentacles i will say this as i always do say um you're not looking for quick results right you have poured a lot of energy and time and labor maybe for some of you into a certain situation but it's just you feel like you're not reaping the rewards or you're not reaching certain milestones that you should be reaching maybe you feel like you plateaued and you're like that's the most i can get from the situation and as i say that i actually do really strongly feel that way for you that's what comes through clarifying the queen of cups is the two of swords this is to remind you the two of swords in the near future is the two of wands is the fool um it's under it so what goes from like wonder and amazement when it comes to the future feels a bit like a crossroads or maybe like fear of like the unknown comes through a little bit um but it's it's feeling like we've got to make a choice because obviously one person cannot walk two different paths queen of cups is here very supportive energy um i feel like it's your energy um that very emotionally in tune um a lot of intuition if it's not you then it's somebody around you who's wise to talk to if you're feeling a little stuck if you're feeling like you can't decide or you don't know what to do right um you're feeling like you're at a crossroads and you're like i don't know what to do um queen of cups if that person or energy is around you they're a fantastic person to talk to um they're wise and non-judgmental and very loving and nurturing and caring and supportive i love that energy now finally clarifying the ten of cups is the eight of cups i think a lot of you could be walking away from a home or family situation um i'm not saying it's for good but it's certainly like feeling like something's not feeling right um something is missing and let's not forget it's under death so with that ten of cups and you've got the eight of cups here it's like it is that energy that i was saying before of is is that the happiest i can be here is is, is this it right did we plateau you know, we gave it our all, we tried our best, um, but something is missing, right? Um, it's like we want that Ten of Cups, but right now it's Eight Cups, and if you look at it, one is missing, right? And we can't ignore it. Something just feels a little bit out of alignment. So you have so much excitement and so much wonder, but next week is going to test you a little bit more. Nothing major, actually, whatsoever. Because let's not forget the Fool is here and Death is here. These are the only two major arcana on your spread. They are trump cards and they literally will trump these energies. So you just, you know, it's, it's, um, it's tiny obstacles, nothing, nothing that I don't see you overcoming by any means, especially with this Ace of Cups and Nine of Pentacles energy that you're swimming in. I mean, again, you're feeling yourself and it feels good. So I will leave it there for you, Libra. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, Make sure to hit like, drop a comment down below, make sure to subscribe as well. Um, thank you Libra and I'll see you all soon.